Hello everyone, Sons of Luck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Happy Trails, a mod that simply adds the ability for you to configure player movement on blocks such as grass paths, stone brick blocks, and certain other blocks to give a potion effect of speed for however long, so the potency as well as the duration. There's a bunch of commands that you will be using to do this, as well as obviously commands to sort of determine certain debugging information and you will want to be an operator on a server or have access to creative to access these. So let's go into the game and we'll clear that so we don't need it. You can see the following commands here. So there's debug level which we cover now. You can see that zero is off so no de debugging information will be displayed at all. There's one which is logged which is obviously giving debugging information and then also adding it to a text file. And then there's chat, which obviously is debugging information set to your chat as well as the text log file. Other than that, which we already have it set up to two anyways, so I don't really need to show that. But there is obviously just the obvious of zero, one, and two there. We go to set trail speed, if we wanted to, for the actual grass blocks we're on. We could set this to whatever sort of number, I think 99? I can't remember the maximum, unfortunately. Uh, 11, sorry. So 11, you can see 12 there. So if we wanted to set the grass blocks that we're on to 11, we could. I've already set the grass path to 10, so you can see here, FOV change, and then speed 10 for 2 seconds. So if I were to actually change this, then we'll go to the following there, and we'll set this to say 5, and then we'll try, nope, so we can't change the seconds, and you can see it now drop to speed level 5. Anytime we're on the grass path, anytime we're not on it, it obviously won't give us that effect. We jump back on, and give it. Other than that, you can set particles if you want, so whether the speed and slowness particles display or not. So we'll just, now I do have, I think, particles on. We'll go to F5, and I think I have particles on, correct? Yes, I do. So if we go to Happy Trails, we go to Particles On, we can set this to True. You can see the effect appearing there, as well as it appearing on my character. If we obviously turn it off, it will completely remove it, as well as possibly the display in the top right corner, compared to how you would usually just see it in your inventory. Anyways, let's just set it to false. You'll see it removing the particles, but it's still appearing in your inventory to let you know it's not displaying in the top right still. Um, like a typical potion effect would, of course. Other than that, we have info, which allows us to see the actual information and obviously work alongside the debugging level that we set. So if we want to enable that, we just go info, and it'll dump some information such as the speed level we've applied, the action, so obviously, sorry, the block in particular that you're standing on, so you're standing on grass path for it to apply this, the player position, so my block position coordinates, and the debug level that we are, obviously being two, which if we were in the chat specific one, you'd need to at least four. Anything lower than that, it'll be obviously showing it only in a text file or off. So there's that. We can also do this for ones we haven't set, such as the grass block. And obviously it'll say speed level zero because we're not applying one to it. The block they're on being a grass block, block position, and debug level for that. Otherwise, we have a config, which obviously allows you to set the actual debug level that you want in the config, rather than just in with commands in-game. The particle-specific one you can set, and there's also other blocks that can be applied to this. So, I don't know if this means that it only is allowed on the following, and this is sort of a whitelist of blocks you can put, but uh, this is the default ones that it can work with. So we'll actually try with a grass block instead, and we'll see if it actually works, and if it has to be part of the whitelist for it to work. Uh, let's see, we'll try say 2 for example, 
and it seems it is on the grass block. Somewhat. So that is interesting. So it seems you can still set it. But uh, the default trail blocks are the following. And then there's also the positive and negative, so my guess is that's sort of priority or so? I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but either way, it's a string that you can consider. Uh, other than that though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.